Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you how to replace this digital switch with one of these two two-speed switch controllers that only has a uh, high-low, uh, low vent, high vent, which is just the fan, and off, or the pump only. As you can see, mine is switching off and on, or my mom's is switching off and on. Uh, it doesn't let you put it on any other mode. It doesn't let you do nothing. So, it won't turn on. Sometimes it'll turn on on high. And then it just clicks and turns off. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. All right, I'm gonna show you the tools that you're gonna be needing, or the tools that I'll be using. A flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, a drill, some uh, wire caps, wire twists, of course your switch, uh, some pliers, wire cutters, and two screws. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this thing and open it up. Obviously you wanna unplug it. All right, I got the four screws taken off. Now I'm gonna open it up carefully. And this is what you see when you open it up. So what you wanna do is pull these wires out and then plug your pump. In here. So that is the pump and that is the drain and that clears out the reservoir inside. And here's your fan switch. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, take this apart. I don't know if you can see me but there's some latches in here that I got to do so I can pull this off. And there it is, real simple. Next, I'm gonna pull off these bolts here so I can pull all these wires out and be able to work with this freely. Now we got, we got our controller and I'll show you how you can tell if it's faulty go ahead and with everything unplugged all right there's nothing plugged into it there's no fan plugged into it you plug it into the wall and if you see I don't know if you can see the green light it's just bouncing around and you can hear it clicking there's a clicking that's telling you that this is faulty so it won't even let me turn it off now if I turn on the pump and they both won't work together Right. Now I'm going to show you the inside. I'm going to go ahead and slide this out. It's a bunch of little pieces. You don't need this no more. I recommend you taking a photo of these. It'll tell you low medium high these three are for your fan and this is the, the the neutral so the white is a neutral then you got your pumps then you got your ground wires now the reason I can tell that this is this is what's faulty this is what's messed up and these cost 90 bucks anywhere you go it's like 90 92 dollars or more plus tax maybe shipping you're looking at a hundred dollars for this piece when I get this for 13 dollars and some change at Lowe's or your major box big box store but if you look carefully, and I don't know if you can see it, these resistors are all burned right here. So this is our problem. These little switches are messed up. If you want to get somebody to go fix those for you, you're welcome to do that. But I think it's easier to do this and forget about the digital. So what I'm going to do is start to pull all these wires off. Now we all know what green is, ground, no big deal. So I'm going to take them all off. And it's easier to pull these off if you have some pliers. All the wires are unplugged. Let's see, right? Everything is unplugged. Now you have two pumps. We don't ever use the drain pump itself, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that one too, which is on the, on the board. It tells you it's pump number two. Um, follow all the wires for it. And just go ahead and plug the, the hot wire, which is the black one, which this one's giving me trouble. The green one's already pulled off with all the other grounds. And then your neutral. And there's that cable. That's the second pump. I'm not gonna use that pump. I don't need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it aside and save it for later. Next, I'm gonna pull off the power and the first pump. And those are usually put together, right? There they are. You pull those off. Now these are the most important ones are these ones are that connect to your, to your fan, your fan speed. Uh, this was a three speed, uh, high, medium, low. Now, since we're changing to the switch, which is only a two speed, we only have high and low. Uh, we rarely use high, so we're, we're just gonna use medium and low. So I said uh, black was high, blue is medium, red is low. I already took a picture of the last one I did, so I don't need to know that part. But I would recommend you take a picture of real close to see what color is what, because those are the ones that you're gonna use. You get your two wires that are connected together, then you get the third one that's loose. What you're gonna do is, you start with the grounds, you get your wire cutters, and go ahead and cut the three, cut the three caps off, and then all you're gonna do is peel these and then wire them together with a twist nut. Although I don't have uh, wire strippers, I'm just gonna use my, my cutters, but be careful because you can actually cut the wire longer, more than you really want to if you don't do this right. them together put the cap on I'm starting to sweat it's warm in here so I need to get this done fast that one's done and open it up these switches have those little gold nuts that are gonna be for your wires the flathead I like to put them in beforehand I hate flat heads. Okay. Now, and in the back, it does tell you the directions of pretty much where everything goes. So if you see in the back on mine, it says the neutral of the motor, the neutral of the pump, and the neutral of the power wire all go together. The short one is your pump that connects to this pump. You're gonna look for the neutral, which is the white. And then the neutral is coming from the power. And the neutral that's coming from your fan motor are all going together. And if you want to follow, you can pause the video. Here's my twist nut. At this point, it should be right here. The green's all put together, which is ground, and the white's all put together. That's your neutral. Next, according to the back of this cooler switch, we're gonna put the hot onto number two of the back of the switch. So the pump hot, which is the black one for the pump, So the black one for the pump, which is the shortest extension wire, right? So you got your real long one that plugs into the house. And you got the short one where the plug comes into here from your pump. You're gonna look for the hot wire on that side, which is, if you see this, this side, and that's the power, the hot is the black one. That one's gonna go onto the switch, your new switch. So I'm gonna strip this and then put it on. You can go ahead and pause the video at this point. So now I'm gonna put that onto number two, which is this middle one, uh, but read the directions on yours. On mine, it's gonna go here on number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in here. My flat screwdriver. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, there's no loose, loose wires on it. Perfect. Next. 
Next one I look for, according to this, is the hot on the motor, the fan motor, which is the black one, and that's gonna go on high, and then the red one is gonna go on low, but we're not gonna be using that. Um, we said we're gonna use, which is this one. So we're not gonna use the black. So what I'm gonna do is, since I'm not gonna use it, and this is the fan now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off and strip it a little bit and throw a small cap, small gray cap to let me know that I'm not gonna use that one anymore. That way it won't ground out. I mean, it's all plastic in here anyways. It's not gonna touch anything. But just in case, all right, so this is where we should be now. Next is your high-low, which is the red and the blue. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those and strip them and then plug them in. So we're not using high, we're using uh, low and medium. Low is black, uh, red, medium is blue. So medium will go in place on the switchboard where the high goes. Uh, so red's going to go on one and blue is going to go on C. And it has a C on the back of it. So go ahead and pause the video while I do this and we can catch up together. That'll be my high now. Blue, black, red, right? The only thing left to connect is the hot that's on the power cord that's coming from the power of the house to power this whole unit, which is the longest one. And that, for me, that's on, the one right here on, on the, my left side. It's the last one that's not plugged in. It's the last one that I need to cut. That is gonna go right above here on L, L1. I'll go to click that, strip it, and plug it in. I'm gonna double check and make sure everything is tight on all of these. There it is. Now, the only thing left to do is, before I put this whole thing together, let's plug it in and make sure it's working how it's supposed to be working. First, I'm gonna plug in the fan on the same switch that it came with. Then I'm gonna plug my pump Hopefully that's the right one because there's two cords in there. Then I'm going to plug it into the power. Power's plugged in. Be very careful when you're working with this. Now I'm just going to turn on my pump to make sure that it's working. Good. Sounds like it's working. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch it to uh, low and see if the fan will turn on. There it is, a little dirty. <laughs> now, let's go to medium or high and see if, it's, see if that's working. Oh, that's a big go. Now I have my cool for my pump. Cool high with the pump and then turn it off. It's a success. Next, I'm gonna unplug it again. You're like, oh, how's this supposed to go here all loose? I'll show you right now. So now we need to make sure that the water's working and everything. But we're gonna go ahead and feed all these wires through here. So it might, it might look horrible, but I'm gonna go ahead and screw it into here like this. And uh, it doesn't matter because it's ours and we pay for it and we own it and we don't care. So, I'm gonna show you how I do it. All I'm gonna do is take these drywall screws. I know I'm gonna probably get some criticism that you could do something else very a lot nicer, but this is what I'm gonna do because this is what I got and we're working on a budget. So I use my drill, my 
drywall screws and it's facing up on the last one I almost put it facing down backwards upside down so this is good all the way around beautiful now I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in once again power is plug unplugged I'm gonna double check nothing came loose and or everything's working we're making sure that my pump is the right pump to help if I plugged it in All right, you guys, so I just had to get situated and find out which pump was what. And my reservoir was empty, so it wasn't pumping anything, but now it is. You can hear the water going. So I'm going to turn it off. Get my water. Make sure my fan works. All settings work. Go ahead and unplug it and put everything back in. Have your Phillips and put your screws back. And there you have it. Plug it back in. So I'm cool it was done. And we're ready for it. Like, share, and subscribe.